Muddy, muddy, mud. A truce, Lloyd. I think we're wrong, Ben. Could only use the cell phone. Boom, down in the deep. We have to keep on going. Three photographers on an adventurous road trip through northern Norway. Steep mountains. Rugged islands. Deep fjords. Perfect conditions for Team Hawkland. When we arrived at Ziegler, it was raining again. We got out of the car straight in the rain. Is it a good idea with the weather? When it's rainy, it's really slippery. But what we have learned is when it rains and we get out the car, it's a good idea because usually it stops. I got my swimwear underneath and no matter what happens, we're definitely equipped. <laughs> I don't know, but hit thumbs for the effort and we'll find out if we can see anything up there or if the clouds are just dead. How are we getting it started? We want to go up there. Yeah, not exactly. We want to go there and take pictures of the peak. It doesn't look that spectacular yet, but the pictures will be epic. Yeah, we hope it will clear up a bit. The odds are 50-50 as always. And oh great. Look at that. It's getting muddy again. Just mud, 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 di mud, muddy di mud, di mud, di mud for one hour up here. Up there. Great! Because of all the mud, it was very exhausting to hike up. It got very warm very quickly when you move around like that. So it was good that we had different layers we could take apart. I have to take off the insulated jacket. It's much more breathable and I don't sweat to death. It fits perfectly in the top of the photo backpack. Usually my camera bag is here at the front and now I pack the kilted jacket in here. I only walked in the fleece and the outer jacket and later then only with the outer jacket was very very warm. We heated up quickly with that much activity and all the photo equipment on the back. I only wear the shirt and the jacket over it. It might be cold in the beginning but you don't get too hot too quickly when hiking. It's a steep climb. The good thing, when you arrive at the top, you can put on the other layers again. Especially if it's windy up there and you're a little sweaty, which I will definitely be. You can stop the video here and take a screenshot. Perfect photo, right? Amazing. The rain is coming back from over there, straight towards us. Is it sweat? Is it rain? I don't know. But the path is definitely getting better and better. And now leads over rocks, a lot of rocky rocks. <laughs> What's like? Oh, it's crazy. But better watch your step. So sad, but I definitely have to say goodbye to my Blue Heartland shirt for this trip. I will no longer be able to wear this without a washing machine from tonight on. It's super exhausting. We're sweating it out. It's a very difficult terrain and we're going uphill without an end in sight. But soon, soon we will see a light at the end of the pass. Oh, and by saying path, I realize I'm completely wrong here. F gotta get back on track. I think we're wrong, Ben. I think we have to keep going up. Really? And then over there. Okay, let's try.
sweat in combination with rain and the camera is also wet, but we have to keep on going. We already said, how cool would it be if we could just take photos with your cell phone? If the quality would be so great, you simply say, we just take the phone and not carry all the stuff around with you. <laughs> We're slowly reaching the top. Over there you can already see the other side of the fjord. And there is the fantastic mountain Ziegler. <laughs> and it doesn't look that spectacular from the other side. Only when you are here you can see that massive shape. And you can decide, photograph from this side or from the other side. And when we got to the top the view was just amazing. Up there, the whole thing really blew me away. It's actually as always, it's always worth it. It's always worth it taking such hikes. I mean, look at that. And this silence. Yonadari? <laughs> the cliffs are so steep over here, but hey, don't worry. I'm not going close now. And you shouldn't do that either. Keep a safe distance. No picture is it worse to put yourself in danger. Never. Here's the drop. Two more meters to the edge and then a couple of hundred meters down. Boom. Down in the deep. A moody scenery. Not too much light, but a dramatic sky. Nice! Oh, this mountain is just amazing. It's hazy everywhere and almost a little too much of the mood. But the weather changes so quickly here that it shouldn't be a problem. Maybe it will clear up again, and if not, we will just take moody shots. Also very nice. Looks very cool, especially with these foggy mountains. No matter what you're looking at, pure epicness. So take a look up here. Now the mountain is actually clear, everything around the outside is hazy, just like we wanted it to be. Insane. So, so, so cool. There are a lot of possibilities with foregrounds. Rocks or colored plants on the ground. Good to create depth in your picture. Now we use an aperture of 9, I hit 200 and the shutter speed of 1 second. So that I can capture this mystical mood. Oh, I really enjoyed it up here. I flew over there where we couldn't hike anymore because it uh, was just too steep and too far away. And a small tip for all the drone photographers out there who like to post their pictures on Instagram. It's the panorama function. You just have to press a button and the drone makes a landscape picture from the top, the middle and the bottom and simply merges it to a portrait format picture. Yeah, on a scale from 1 to 10, the photo location is somewhere at 125. I'm blown away and I took more than enough pictures. Such a treat. One of the best locations I photographed so far. And I'm really flashed and hyped and so glad that we started walking in the rain. We just walked a bit higher and recognized <laughs> it really goes down a lot there. It's, it's just a ledge. It looks awesome. Especially with the yellow jacket, it bangs so badly. And that was actually the photo that I imagined of Segler. For size relations, a person in the picture in a bright jacket color, which stands out well against this uniform background of the mountain, which is mostly gray. And for size relations, in the picture, the small person and the mountain, very, very big. And this is my absolute favorite photo of the day, but also of Xenia in general. It is just a super epic shot. After sunset, it's getting dark. 
When you go down, you definitely need a flashlight to find the path. And who forgot a lamp? Javorski. <laughs> of course. And we need to go down now in the dark. Damn it. It's been even muddier because it started raining again. A true slide. Oh, we desperately waited for the boardwalk to come. It was a real creepy way so far. It looks just like that. Everywhere. But, surprisingly, all of us made it down more or less cleanly. Of course, we had to use our hands once or twice to not fall down. We are a bit in a hurry because now we have to drive an hour and a half to the ferry. It's the last ferry for the season and if we miss it, we have to drive for eight hours. We want to travel to the Westerhallen and the fastest way is by ferry from Zenia. So let's go. We had to really hurry up and being on time is not our strength. Especially when there are so many beautiful motives on the way to the ferry. Here in the background, red houses, mountains. Epic. Oh, look what I found. A small little boat. Perfect. Beautiful boat in the foreground and mountain in the background. Maybe portrait mode. This tiny red house fits perfectly into the landscape. That looks really cool. I looked at my watch and we had only 13 minutes till the ferry departures, so we really had to hurry up. We made it! We reached the ferry, but now we have to wait here in line. One, two, number three we are. Will we get on the ferry? Because that is not guaranteed. Better be here in time. I need to knock on the captain's door. It's a bit of bigger challenge for me. You can't plan anything and you can't do anything twice. One of my favorite episodes so far from the trip. How did you like it? What was your favorite photo? Write it in the comments and help us by sharing this video with your photography friends, with blogs, with magazines or other creators and tag us on Instagram at Jaworski or at Hawkland Clothing and we'll share and repost the best shares and posts. And the whole series was created in collaboration with Hawkland Photographers Clothing who made it their mission three years ago to design the best jacket for photographers. We have just activated US pre-orders with limited early bird discounts, including shipping to the US at www.hawkland.us. Only four weeks left to benefit from the discount. And then we'll start regular shipping at regular costs. Also subscribe to the free newsletter and receive nine Team Hawkland Lightroom presets we created in Norway as a gift. Link is in the description. And if you haven't seen the latest episodes, you can watch them here and there you can see the next episode when it uploads next Friday at 6 p.m. EDT.